when you perform when you complete the lab your own right your own then you can image that entire lab if they ask you that is in how to perform the group policy they ask you how to perform the group policy delegation they ask you that is in uh, what is the difference between the active directory groups they ask you for that is in backup of the group policy right if these are the questions would ask you then you would be able to explain and you would be able to uh, answer that is in right with the steps right right step now how do you explain that because you have not performed well or you have not practiced that is in you will not be able to answer it and this training i would say that is in when you are when you are completed the lab minimum 3 to 4 time and you will be able to you know answer that is in whatever the interview questions would ask you that all i have topic covered but how you will be able to perform i have i have told you that it is in class 1 right there is a document you would be able to uh, you know go through that before you start interview okay so now before that is in document the first most important any issue is occur any issue is occur and what would be that is in might be people using for that is in ticketing tool do you heard about ticketing tool what it is there is a process to be followed the process to be followed means what there is a sla of each incident right if you have a p1 incident and there would be a response time and resolve time which we called resolution time response time would be within 5 5 minute you are not responding that ticket that incident within 5 minute this would be the breach and it will be the business impact and resolve time it would be a within 2 hours so p1 is always for issue should be must be resolved if you are not resolved that is within 2 hours since is already p1 incident p1 incident is a high critical right high critical and it is already business impacted and the service support team should take and responsibilities if any p1 incident is come to the our queue which is ticketing queue first immediately we need to respond it and if you not responding the ticket or assigning the ticket within 5 minute is considered as a breached and based on the compliance based on the governance rule that would be a penalty would be there and company who is supporting the service team has to be penalty to the customer and if you not resolve the on time right the result time would be it's a, this this hours would be depend on your company uh, governance rule but which i am supporting for this is a method okay and you would be able to resolve within 2 hours and if you the p2 ticket so it is not that much of high high criticality or it is not be low criticality it is a medium one p2 incident and uh, it is response time is 30 minute for the p2 ticket 30 minute and resolve time is 8 hours okay some time some people have a 4 hours some team people have that is 6 hours but where we have that is in a within 8 hours this ha issue has to be resolved but response time it would be within 30 minute you should be accept it and assign the incident p3 incident would be the response time is eight hours within eight hours you can consider and you can accept it result time is 24 hours or you can say um 32 hours also business we would be talking at business 3 uh, days hours right you can say 24 hours 8 16 24 business 3 3 days it is okay 
so this is how depends on the company also you have the p4 also if you can consider p4 okay incident depends on the low priority and this has that is in uh, response time it would be a 24 hours okay some time you have 16 or 24 hours and you have that is in business four days which is 32 hours so these are all basic awareness or basic things we would aware about when you are going to start interview they would ask you how you are getting start working on the you know issues might be your ticketing tool or email mail communication or uh, your internal chat right internal chat uh, whatever that is in business model you use it or you can say that is phone call right now whichever your company decided most of the companies are working either you should have that ticketing tool or you have the email communication and there is an internal chat would be only it is going to connect with you have the some uh, internal discussion not for the customer end users but we should aware about as a technical engineer what do you mean by the p1 ticket what do you mean by p2 ticket what do you mean by p3 ticket what do you mean by p4 ticket these are the process model we should aware about so once the incident once the issue is started has started so how do we begin to start trouble troubleshooting so troubleshooting it would be first most important try to understand exact issue do not hurry into the fixing the issues or solving the issues try to understand the exact issues maximum people are hurry into that is you know fixing this without knowing that is an actual error and actual issues and uh, it is not completing the fixing the issues to understand the exact thing issue means what there is update in the ticket or information in the ticket or validate for any screenshot is attached right and uh, directly talk to who submitted the ticket right and when you try to understood that is issue right then to begin with this do not jump into the directly to start looking on that that analyze the log from administrator point of point of view analyze the log so analyze the log from windows server point of view windows active directory windows server administration point of view, we have the event log in event log this is the first most important you need to validate the event log will help you that is in three type of log one is system log second one is application log third one is security log each log you have that is in type of uh, type of error log each log we have the type of error log and we have that is in the type of error log is critical we have warning we have information and we have uh, one more is instead of the critical uh, we should have just see this event log where you can see the event log here event viewer right when do we check when do we check under the windows system log you see this system log and this system log would going to help you that is in when you see this right click here right click here okay right click here properties when you click on this filter event log filter current log you would be able to see that error log critical warning error information verbose not required to for the troubleshooting you would be able to see this error log 
so basically we wanted to look that is in instead of information you should look into that is in critical and error log and if you know that is in basically you you need you can ask that is in when it was issue occurred right when is when is issue occurred when the issue has started okay do you did you see that any recently change has been implemented recently change activities implemented in recently any patch deployment has happened you just get that some background information background history uh, before you start jump into that working on that just information you need to collect then you can start looking to the actual error is what is happening and do we see any evidence any error log is uh, we are getting or not right if you looking for the specific date and time you can select for the specific custom date and time or if you did not get any time just you can click on this okay you would be able to see only those error and critical logs then you would be able to start analyzing that logs right when do we start looking the system log when do we start looking the system log system log it's basically we have that all the time hardware issues your operating system issues where you would be able to see that bsod right blue screen of death and uh, certain uh, unexpected shutdown frequent reboot bsod blue screen of death right and those kind of issues you feel that you would be able to see the system log right and find that is in due to you know there is other uh, reason for to impacting my the server and and event log will help us to give a proper evidence or proper clue that right you need to keep analyzing this error due to why what is that error it is that the device driver is trusted platform you know tpm encountered non recoverable so you might feel that is in you won't be able to understand that okay this is the error is is occurring and this is the date and time but you should get that is an event id always you should get the event id okay so now you can start analyzing you need to start asking to the google okay and there is a event id you can give the event id some information about the error log okay to understand more on why it is come and how it is come and what would be the resolution for that if you ask the google here okay send people why we need to do this all these things if someone asking question what is the process what is the progress on this and you can explain them that is in yes i am analyzing the logs and give us some time and we got to know that there is a few error log identified i am investigating i'm analyzing the log uh, you know finding that is in right microsoft portal right you can say this event id is event id is 15 okay then you can give some information about the what is actually error log so you would be getting this information at least we need to know that is in due to what and why you while you are checking to the google into the google always you need to trust with the microsoft portal always you need to trust with microsoft portal not for any third party tool or third party website link and uh, before any implementation of that page on the solution you should cross validate it and verify that is in by taking approval from the management this is what issue is occurred and based on the analysis and we got to know this is a issue because of this and there is a solution for this right always you need to come with this this approach you have to follow this approach then it would be a you know a better way you have all the evidence you have all the screenshot and you have taken the permission then you can go ahead with the fix the issues most of the cases what's happening in a windows platform anywhere i mean people will reboot the server quickly but do not do that quickly reboot and when you reboot the server sometime log log was not generated and it will be impact for you know analyze actual issue is analyzing why because they will ask you to the all the p1 ticket they must ask you the rca right rca means what the root cause analysis so during that time root cause analysis and during that time we need to write that is in uh, actual issues and why it should be a five whys okay what happened first why okay first why is what happened you need to write this right and why this happened second why you should have the proper 
uh, analysis process should be followed in this and what was the preventive action you have taken to fix it preventive action and corrective action we need to update in the rc so preventive the corrective action what you done it say for example to fix the issue for the temporary you have rebooted right reboot and then this resolved issues example but customer ask you i wanted to prevent in future and how do you confirm and how do you promise that is in uh, it would not be repeated in a future so that time we need to plan for this is why and what happened first why second why until four five i mean five wise and then you need to tell to the preventive action if there any change has to be implemented or not need to be implemented okay you need to provide the proper document or any hot fix has to be implemented something whatever the solution you are going to take it that has to be validated by the customer if he agreed after validation and request sometime microsoft it will send to the rca microsoft also microsoft has this approved yeah this is a valid uh, troubleshoot and valid analysis they have done it then uh, we will be approve it once that approved so you, you make sure that isn't it should not be a repeated issues and should not be business impact so all the p1 ticket must have that rca we we do delivering we do providing the all the p1 ticket rca it's a by default process but maybe you would also aware about if this is a process is involved and you should understand that so how you need to plan for rca okay where i am writing here so anyone has any question so far now understood that is in what is the process of troubleshooting steps all good all good good to go neil yeah how to export the logs so what kind of the export log you need to export it so you have the event log right say for example i have shared with it right i wanted to export this log no no my question is if the, the dc1 is uh, uh, we we got a note down all that ha huh. we are not able to log in the dc1 ha huh. correct if you are inside the server we can uh, see the system logs and everything we can correct. export correct if, if uh, completely system is down ha huh. how to take the logs ha huh. okay now good question what is happening in existing system if server is down you won't be able to take it okay because that logs are generated what you can do the second option is precautionary we need to take before that is in when server is healthy right any any all the critical server any all the business servers what we need to do we need to have that is in save those uh all the event save or save and share other location okay all the event log how do we do this <clears throat> say for example now the server one is srv01 is a dc i wanted to take care about that is all the event log correct now what we need to do when you go to the event log okay this event log on daily basis it should not be overwritten and this all the log based on the date you should take in the backup you can click the properties and you see this this is the path log path right and uh, this log path whatever it is storing per day on date date basis i wanted to you know go backup of this uh, entire logs and it should be keeping in a different location now what's happening if this server is down right and you will you will not be able to log into the server and you cannot see the any logs at all right and you do not have any clue on that and you have to rebuild the server and then there is no clue on that what went wrong and how it is setting down or something server is impacted but always we need to save these logs with a different location you can plan for this will be helping you to that is in uh, either you can schedule a task task for the every day this log path you need to all the whatever the logs are generating and you can uh, you know uh, save it some other locations this is the one way you can do it 
if so you're not save it in another location means in another server yes you can have that is in in our uh, not server we have that storage but again when you put the server right what will happen that server is down so we should have that is in storage okay it's keep on uh, uh, backup saving all the right backup. right right based on date we need to schedule the time yes how to, yes yeah yes yes so that has to be taken care so what's happening if the server is down server one on today date right 0510 right and uh, if that that already that event log has been taken care and you put into the network shared path right you would be able to see this logs you can plan that and sometime sometime the backup is not taken the server is crashed right and you would be able to see the previous log right till day tested a previous date it was working fine and uh, the when incident was raised the engineer you know the requester will will tell you that this issue this server is not responding now and this is your individual handling correct what is going to happening in a in a actual production you should have the monitoring tool do you heard about monitor monitor tool and they will be uh, integrated integrated all the servers all the critical server critical server event log solar winds ha solar winds is the best example for the monitoring all the server to avoid such such criticality okay event log and any critical log generated log generated immediately it will be a p1 ticket is is triggered and start working on that and always the solar wind is one of the you know best tool and you have that is in uh, um, uh, ops monitor operation monitor one of the tool right squam is there microsoft product solar wind is there okay elastic and, sorry elastic is there. elastic is also there yeah so these are all a uh, big big company has to have that is a monitoring tool it is you know integrated all the all the critical server and they would ask you that is in which are servers are production impacted server and which are the servers are critical and most of the servers are would be monitoring and any activity happening on those servers it should be immediately trigger and and a ticket has to be submitted if the server is unexpected shut down right on the respective data center or on the respective vm the server is shut down right how do you start troubleshooting i don't know anything about right shut down is the server is shut down or server is not responding so what is the first step to be uh, troubleshoot can check the pin status first with server remotely you are checking for okay the server shut down the issues now you are checking try to accessing accessing server not connecting no rdp try to ping no response what you else check, you can check in the v center you can check a v center okay v center is easy to troubleshoot i'll park that v center think about it's a physical server if it's a physical server if, if that vm is located in one of the exxi we need to Plug in the TXXI. No, one second. Give one minute. Hello. No, the the server whatever down that was the physical server. It is not any virtualization or any ESXI box. it's a physical server through ilo can we log ah remember you should have that depends on your hardware if you have hp server you should have the ilo if you have a ibm server that hardware module you should have the uh, uh, no um, d uh, this ibm dell has a d rack okay the name of the uh, accessing a physical network ip address drac this ibm for is uh, uh, remote nic remote nic 
and you have that is in this is kind of physical okay physical network interface where we are accessing server offline mode right you have the one url the respective hardware the respective hardware and the respective the ilo right this is not ilp ilo uh, physical network address and you have the one url and you would be having the username and password right and then after login you would be able to see the recent status of server sometime what's happening you have patch the server and rebooted and it is a hung status and it's not responding right there is a status hung status listen no oh, sorry one question yeah every physical server we have one ilo right yes it is the most important but uh, ilo that is uh, default url provided by the vendor vendor correct uh, ilo ip is different and uh, what uh, the normal our normal ip is different correct who right. provided right. and who uh, set the ilo ip uh, during the configuration of that we have to do that now when you are deploying the physical server right first time there is a separate configuration of this so right. before you booting before you start installing operating system first you need to set that everything there is a hardware ip address right this is vendor is given to you that url and it give the username and password but we need to configure it uh, as a you know i was doing for the when i was in ibm for data center uh, administrator most of servers were in physical server but some cases what's happening some of the critical server does not have a ilo or a hardware uh, physical network address but those servers we need to raise a risk you have to have a compliance uh, portal and uh, which critical server does not have a physical network address you need to raise a risk if some cases if the server is down which does not have a network address you will be depending on the data center engineer we need to call there is emergency contact number emergency contact number help desk contact number we need to call the data center on the on the date who who are in the shift and everything should be updated here the data center administrator we need to tell them that is in there is a server not responding and please go to this data center and this is a rack system this is a number and please check the status and power on the server it's a little critical situation and there is a risk we have raised it and uh, overall if you 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 already configured it and now the server is down everything is working fine it's a production now it's suddenly shutting down but he is not able to accessing now with the help of this physical ip address you can able to access see the status uh you would be able to troubleshoot further if it's hung status if it's already powered on we can power on the machine remotely we can power on the servers remotely without touching hardware engineer or a data center engineer and whichever physical network interface is not available not there that time we need to depend on the data center administrator this is the older days right this is i worked on this kind of environment but now we have most of the cases most of the company are in vmr or we have a cloud when you talk about the vmr you have the complete in a asxi box and you have the data center which is all the vms all the vms are available in a asxi right but if the server is down then we can able to see in a vm console right we can console here there would be a separate vmr administrator we can tell to that vmr administrator vmr team this server is not responding we tried for the pinging we tried for the rdp it is not responding if we are only responding or we are only supporting if we have access directly we can go to the data center uh, we center server and we see the server status right and then we can uh, take the permission take the ch emergency change approval and everything we can reboot the server from the console or if we are not managing the vmr infrastructure then we would be assigning the incident to vmr team please get ready with this server 
and there again that vmware if it is issue due to what reason that vmware has you know that vm has down maybe in uh, that vm all the network interface nic is a virtual backup is virtual everything is going to virtual right and you have the processor all in a virtual only right and data store so what is happening your data store is uh, you are running the you know insufficient space of the server and the data server is a full automatically server is, is going to be down so nowadays you have the all the options for in a asxa box which is high availability if you configure this high availability it will take in care automatically if the if the server is belongs to one of the data store and that data store has a, a running insufficient space automatically vm should be moved to the available sufficient space data store and it will not be a impact for your servers if you not configured uh high availability right if you not configured a, a high availability then the server will be impacted this are all comes under for revert but this is a this is how you need to steps to be followed in the initial stage but nowadays as i said the most of the vms most of the servers are in vm only and the some of the vms are already it is in the cloud we can easy to manage it and in the cloud it is most of the cases it won't be down it won't be down it will be always you know 99 point would be up time which we are managing for the cloud admin uh, we are managing the vmr vmr infrastructure or physical server infrastructure we are the responsibilities and we have to have a 90, not 99.9 percent is availability. It is always giving you 98.60 uh, you know, because it will be delaying into resolving the issues depends on the some dependency. Getting? So these are all you know first step. If sometime applications is not working, depends on the issue. If you say that is in <clears throat> relevant issues you were talking about now. You have group policy implemented, okay? Say for example, the wall wallpaper is implemented. Example, right? And uh, now that is linked to domain, okay? And policy not applied properly. all the all the users where you have think about the multiple site multiple sites around 500 users are there and this time you have this works for only it works only few location but location means sites and others not now, what do you troubleshoot in this? How do you fix it? What is the first step you need to think about? We have that is in BLR one site and CHN one site, right? BLR have the 500 user. And the CHN site have a 200 users. And this working fine and here again in this 200 users there are some hundred users are working some other hundred users are not working applied and other not how do you troubleshoot such scenario anyone answer Yes, please answer. <laughs> we are into the last class. This is actual thing about this is we a. Can, we can we can check uh, in which side users are facing the issue. Uh, I okay. said already CHN site. CHN site. In the CHN, uh, we can check the group policy uh, replication. 
replica is working fine okay very good first step is okay validate applications working fine done all set next go ahead guys think about i am interviewer and you are giving the interview you already completed the course give some steps no yeah first steps is validate and it's a valid done now because we need to fix the issue right yes sir no yes yes then you can we can go to that oyu chn site we can check whether the good policy uh, properly ah uh, it is already linked to the domain see here and already applied that is in 100 users this is working fine for the blr working fine chn so, also is working so, fine 100 user impact few users are getting this issue yeah okay. and in that chn some 100 users are applied but others not <laughs> so if those users can, uh, on the cj inside 200 users can get the wallpaper and 100 users cannot yes. they cannot apply so they yes. they have a, a gpo issue in a sense that uh, uh gpo cannot be applied for them but they can they can they log in to the domain at all yeah they are logging but only issue with this wallpaper and they are getting other they are able to log in and they are uh, getting other policy as well but wallpaper itself is not getting some users are impacted everything is fine everything is looks good that all the users everything looks good but only this is issue implemented wallpaper and this is linked on domain and this has issues you can go to all tasks and restart once that uh... what restart directly no no but we what, need, what restart we need, to, we need to find the why it's uh, <laughs> or not before restarting to validate for other things no Correct, correct. I would be validating some. You might have heard about security filtering. Security filtering, correct. What is the security filter does here? A security filter. If 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 you implemented one policy, uh, if you want to apply only for those two, uh, if any particular uh, sites, uh, in this case you can use security. Not filter. only particular sites. It is some users. some users sir. some users we have we discussed this point right some user do not want to get the policy validate yeah. right validate is there any security but still it is all okay okay all okay yes and still it is issues happening you need to go with the right uh, process right and some cases there is no impact for the ad infrastructure there is no impact for the group policy because group policy already working fine other users are already working fine i will not going to touch with an active directory back uh, active directory group policy but in this scenario you would be going to check and you know that already ultimately the end result and how do we validate how do we validate the policy is policy is reached to end user how do we validate on basis what is the base we need to confirm can we check group policy result of the one of the impacted user yeah okay yeah, in this 100 users we would log in one of the computer we will validate the group policy result and when you see the result is that policy is coming or not yes or no it should show us that in the group policy result that policy has to be reaching or not yes or no yes yes gp update right? gp no not gp update gp result 
GP result. GP update is for the for, you know refreshing of this policy, but GP result, which is which is GP result, you can validate for this GP result slash R, and group policies shows result shows result shows policy applied. A still issue is occurred. What would be the issues again? Result shows policy applied, and everything looks fine. Policy shows that wallpaper policy shows here. And what would be the next step? We can check who, who is now uh, this. This policy is uh, not coming for that. Uh, that that we can check with that user laptop whether uh, we can give the GP results as a. Uh, what, what it, I said here is already updated. Result shows policy applied. For those who are not connecting the GP also, that, that user laptop also, it's coming with policy yes, applied. Yes, 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 it's applied. It shows. Uh, policy is applied, but the user doesn't have the access to the share folder where the wallpaper is stored. Exactly. So there is a one cases and if that, that user does not have by default, actually, uh, you know, uh, won't be access issue, but the end result would be the registry setting get changed. Yes or no? Get updated of end user computer, right? If the policy is if the policy is for user configuration, user configuration, and you would be going to check for the register setting for, you know that is in, uh, when you go to the reg edit, reg edit, and you would be able to see this, HKE current user, Microsoft, Microsoft, Windows, current version, you should be going to check for the system, not Microsoft system, current control set, policies, and you would be able to see because this is my local machine, okay? So validate for that the current user configuration and that wallpaper wallpaper register setting get updated that d word value has to be updated yes or no you need to validate this too much deeper level right and worst scenario sometime happening here if the register setting get you know, corrupted on the machine, end user, end of the computer, or his profile get corrupted. Okay. The end user profile corrupted or, or register setting is get corrupted. This has happened in some cases. Okay. Registry corrupted. And we need to change the registry value. One of the machines you need to change the value of that is manually and see this is works fine. If it is works fine, then you can implement for the design. Whichever servers are in, whichever the client machines are impacted, you need to implement to change the register setting of this server, uh, those client machine and get updated. Ideally, if that already po policies applied for the all the users, and it would not have any impact for the design. It would not have any issue within the infrastructure side, I AD side or group policy side. So most of the cases, some end users said have issues. It would be having this kind of issues. We, but we we can't do individually, right? Uh, we we need to we need to. Why we can't do hundred users? So what is this huh, is that's what you see. That hundred user, we need to validate. We need to fix the issue first. One of the user, right? We need to troubleshoot one of the user, but it's the same happening in a hundred user. You know that how to fix it for the changing the register setting. As you can use a, a PowerShell, PowerShell script. 
for modifying a registering or or you know that is in there is a group policy preference you do not go with the uh, individual computer and do it for this is all hundreds under user cannot be and now you can say this group policy preference that you know item level targeting you can plan for this to whichever the compute whichever the users are impacted and those users only you need to target for modifying and it would not be cases for all the 100 users there is a one of the cases for a register setting and some cases some users are uh, profile corrupted some users for might not be rebooted longer time and worst scenario as jeltan said that is some users having a uh, access issues these all we need to validate for the end user issues end user computer issues since we are administrator we should not go and talk to the end user but there is a help desk team would be there but when you are the impact does 100 users are impacted we need to involve it we need to analyze that all the log as a l3 team we should be involved and we need to understand that is in in a deeper level we need to fix the issues and these are all that cannot be done for the l1 l2 team correct these are all steps cannot be done. They will be given the SOP document and they will be follow the SOP document. That's all. So how it is actually is going to happening. So this is the process is going to happening. You see this. I'm just stopping of this recording for the few minutes. Okay, you repeat the word. Yeah, based on this training only, I selected. What you explained, I I wrote note, notes in, in my notebook, everything. Mm -hmm. For giving the interview, uh, one day I... Uh, Read the read everything. So you studied and you got selected. Perfect, right? Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. No. So what what they asked they, all the questions. Uh, what you explained all the, um, in this class in this training yeah, and this uh, training you, yeah. yeah you, I explained oh, you... AD part everything. Okay. And VMware said uh, he asked a few questions. Mm -hmm. I, I I am working right anyhow. I know the some little bit VMware part. Yes. Then I explained. Good. Huh. Finally, they are okay to uh, take. Very good. So they send you off a letter already? The documentation completed, maybe Monday or Tuesday, they will provide the offer letter. What is the total years of experience? I My total years of experience, three years, four months. Okay. And uh, uh, two rounds completed, HR round also completed. I submitted the documents, documents also cleared. And they said uh, Monday or Tuesday, they will provide the offer letter. Okay, first of all, congratulations, Amar, right, your name? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm congratulated and uh, proud of you, right? And this is a best example, guys, I would say. But don't worry, don't fear, and you can keep giving the interview. Uh, I think you need to validate which, which company it is, what are the facilities they are giving, and uh, all aspect you need to think about. Don't worry, you will. if you tried, you will be getting another two, three offer letter. I would suggest, uh, if you if you ask me that if I am, I am going to deciding to change the job, that conference should have minimum, we should have the three to four offer letter. Okay, no worries. You do not have a fear that is in uh, how do I perform it? Okay, so I would suggest you keep upskilling. As I said, keep doing the practice and you should have a lab ready with you. And yeah. first most important, do not ever say I do not have experience to the team member. Any, just be confident. Sure. Okay, and just understand that. Just observe. When you join that, observe it. When you are assigning the project, Assigning the project, just observe and see that what is going on. Do not jump into start involving everything. Just observe it. Make a note. Okay. okay. The make a note. What is their infra? What is their infra? What is that criticality? 
okay remember we discussed for that is infrastructure what are the what, how many domain controller how many domains what is your role yeah. actually what is if, um, what uh, is my role what is my roles and responsibilities responsibilities i and try to understand just mm-hmm. make it clear understanding what is that don't jump into the perform first you know one month you just only observe don't okay. confuse don't uh, you know scare about it so don't fear it and and get with a uh, connect with your friends colleagues and uh, keep them with a good relationship right and just observe it and read the make the notes keep practicing make the notes when take an excel sheet and uh, you know uh, and also study yourself as well if you get a access and maybe they have some kt knowledge transfer document it would be there they might have planned for the kt right for you uh, to start the uh, you know supporting ask as much as questions which you have a doubt sure sure okay and ever says no i do not have experience and and that is you know but people have selected you because you have already knowledge you have already you know yeah, gone yeah. through that is but mm-hmm. they know but that is a, that is actually once the 2 3 month you have a got you know confident and grip right then that's all your journey will start that first first 3 month is the only matter mm-hmm. people will observe you how you perform people will uh, you know keep monitoring on you that how you are because you recently joined your my manager your team lead team member will also be look at you and uh, you should do not give a chance to them to analyze okay this person is just have a lacking of you know this many skills yeah. right that that is make more confident speak well okay and ask questions and uh, come front take responsibilities take yeah. responsibilities no matter if it is escalated also forget okay. about okay because that make you to more confident okay when you take responsibilities doesn't matter what result even if it is escalated don't worry because you are in a first one step level in i head yeah yeah okay sometime ask you okay there is a task to do in a during this outer business hours go ahead and accept it even mm-hmm. the team member team member will worried about scare about <laughs> you yes sir i will take it okay participate participate take initiate take the responsibilities move forward and that is experience that is a practice i am sure it will take you some other place absolutely okay so you do this well don't worry and and don't fear it anything but you have a lot of confidence which i observed and uh, you have good future amar all the best thank you thank you okay and you and oh, one second yeah. uh you have any doubt in between something you stuck reach out to me any time Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Yes, Vanisha, go ahead. I'm more from the security side, and now I'm okay. This training also has helped me in AD. Perfect. Uh, but no much knowledge from the VMware side. So. Okay. I would suggest your profile should be match. Okay. Mm-hmm. Profile must match. I would suggest you don't go with VMware, since mm-hmm. Amar has a VMware. It is a make it. Now you're already in security. Security, which is I would say cloud security, right? Yes, cloud security. Okay, and in that Azure. Uh, actually, we are using Azure, but I'm I don't deal with Azure. Uh, I'm more into Elastic. Side. Elastic, no problem. It it is considerable as a Azure. Uh, yeah. I would say the cloud security. You will not be very limited in the security. Mm-hmm. You should be move onto the full fledged in a bigger picture. Right, which is having a more package, and which is having a more in you know, a good growth. Yes or no? Yeah. And now you need to uh, plan accordingly. Since you already understood the Active Directory on premises, right? Mm-hmm. Since you have some basic knowledge on the cloud security, I would suggest complete this SC three hundred. Okay. Which is identity, access management, management, which is related to completely on IAM, cloud right? security. Sorry. IAM, yeah, IAM, cloud security, and also plan for Azure five hundred. This is for you, oh, Anisha. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. This would this would make you that your profile related. Okay. Okay. This is complete in a cloud security, and Amar, you also after six month, okay, don't keep quiet, and you have to upskilling yourself, and uh, you need to, you know, slowly uh, move to the cloud infrastructure. Okay, what what uh, courses I need to learn? You need to learn from the division Azure. Take the Azure, which is one hundred four, AZ one hundred four, which is cloud associate cloud administrator. 
and amar i would suggest you learn powershell okay is the most important because it would need in your day to day operations it would need for the automation and venisha you also learn for the powershell yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. these these are all you know continue these are all you know career growth which is i am into the same platform right you might have seen that in my uh, linkedin profile have you seen no. that area? okay knowledge no worries okay, into specific no worries no yeah. worries start start learning start learning and uh, you have your own portal where you can see this